Uh, good afternoon. Never fear, we will do a little photo session at the end. I think if everyone's, uh, that's probably the best way to do it. Uh, good afternoon, welcome. Um, a top table that really needs no introduction, but I will do it anyway. Uh, President of the IOC, Thomas Bach, the two mayors of Paris, Anne Hidalgo, and of LA, Eric Garcetti. And then the two bid leaders, Tony Estange from Paris, President of Paris 2024, and Casey Wasserman, Chairman of LA 2028. So President, if I ask you first to say a few words, and then we'll come to the two mayors. President. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon and welcome. Uh, today is a historic and happy day uh, for uh, the, the entire Olympic uh, movement. It is uh, really this win-win-win uh, situation uh, we were all together looking for. Uh, we have uh, two uh, great uh, winners uh, here with uh, Paris, uh, France, and uh, Los Angeles in California. And uh, we uh, have uh, for the Olympic movement uh, and for the athletes a, a great day. Because with these uh, two cities, uh, we have uh, the two best uh, possible hosts uh, for the games in uh, 2024 in two great Olympic countries, uh, United States of America and uh, France. And we have uh, uh, two uh, now organizing uh, committees and uh, uh, two uh, populations uh, with uh, not only the technical capabilities of organizing great games, but uh, really embracing uh, the uh, reforms of Olympic Agenda 2020. You have seen two uh, games uh, who really represent uh, games uh, with uh, sustainability and feasibility, and you have seen uh, two uh, great projects full of uh, passion, uh, full of uh, love uh, for sport, uh, the Olympic Games, uh, and uh, a great commitment uh, to uh, the uh, Olympic uh, movement. So uh, I could not uh, be uh, more happy uh, than uh, I'm uh, right now. Thank you, President. Uh, Madame Hidalgo, à vous la parole. Thank you so much. I'm very happy to be, to be here, and uh, I will thank all the IOC members and the president before this way was not um, uh, usual. Uh, we invent this new way together, and today, yes, we are three winners, uh, both cities and great cities, and I'm so happy to be with uh, Eric Garcetti and the team of uh, Los Angeles and uh, Paris, of course, and the IOC. Um, today, with uh, Tony, with all our team, we are very, very proud, very happy. It is an emotion, so special emotion today, because uh, 100 years after, the games come back to Paris at home. Sorry, home of the games is around the world, Mr. <laughs> President. But um, no, we are a little months. French, four and uh, <laughs> in France uh, we say we are Chauvin. Uh, no, we, we are not Chauvin. We, we, we love to share. And uh, today um, we are very proud and very happy for our country, for my city, of course. But uh, when Paris win, France win also. And uh, we know that with uh, this new opportunity to, to work with uh, IOC, uh, with uh, LA in this uh, partnership, new partnership, we have a lot to do together. And we can promote hope for the young people. There was very, very important for me when uh, we start this uh, adventure together with uh, uh, Tony and with Bernard and Denny and Guy and all friends. Uh, for me, give hope to uh, the young people was a first issue in this uh, adventure with this bid. And I think that uh, thanks to Tony, our very incredible, incredible champion, but incredible uh, chair of uh, this bid, we, 
we did give to uh, French people confidence. It's very important to give confidence. And uh, it was not very easy because uh, in France we are the country of uh, the very um, famous philosopher Descartes. And uh, the confidence is not in this um, thing, you know. Give confidence and unite it too. And with the athletes, all French people and politician people are together in support of this bid, and today we do it. We do it, and it's fantastic. Now, it's a new step. The new step, we will build uh, a very great, ma amazing celebration, and we are waiting for you, but we have a lot to work. It's not finished. It's a new beginning. Thank you. Thank you, Madame Hidalgo. Mr. Garcetti. Mayor. Thank you. Merci à nos amis. Uh, thank you to our dear friends, to Anne, to Paris, um, and to the IOC, Thomas Bach, to the members and to the people who had the courage to bring this day about. This is a pretty radical revolution today. When you think about it, it might feel subtle, but usually you have two or three cities crying in a corner. The press comes, how do you feel, to a group that's just lost. <laughs> and one glorious victor. When in this world, I think we have enough losers today, or enough divisions today, or enough people who go after their dreams only to have them crushed. Today, I think we model something different, that dreams can come true for two cities, for a movement, for a people together. Our dream wouldn't have been possible were it not for the faith of the United States Olympic Committee and Larry Probst and um, Scott Blackman had in us our great IOC members that represent the United States, Nita Franz, who's been a, a hero to our city for so many years and really putting forward a vision that sports should be about people, not just events, not just buildings, but people. Um, and Angela Ruggiero, who's done an extraordinary job representing not just American athletes, but all athletes as president of the Athletes Commission. I want to thank my city council members who are here with me today and the mayor of Long Beach who joined us as well, our second largest city in Los Angeles. And, and of course, the extraordinary leadership of Casey Wasserman and Gene Sykes and the entire LA 2028 team. For me, this is truly a day of real emotion. Um, what does history feel like? It feels like this. And it is not just the happiness of the win, it's actually the joy of the beginning, that our beginning starts now. That two incredible chapters that have been written in and by my city in this movement and for ourselves by welcoming, we had a kind of play on words from the very beginning that, I don't know, some, some people wrote out of it, but I always loved it, that we are a games changer. In English you say game changer, but we are always a games changer. We've helped put the games forward, whether it was the first Chinese athletes in 1932 and the first true kind of Olympic village, or 1984, a new model. And we're committed to that. But what's nice about today is we're not doing it alone. We're doing it with Paris. We're doing it because the problems that we face of youth who feel no hope, of a world that is warming, of migrants who wonder whether they belong. These are common problems. And while Paris and Los Angeles can be at the forefront of this by winning the Olympics, we can also share that wisdom with all of our world and our cities, uh, whether it's from Lima or anywhere else in the world. In Los Angeles, we already have 14,000 Angelinos who have signed up to volunteer. And I think the best part of this voyage for me was hearing those stories. Grandparents who talked about when they volunteered, uh, athletes who said that's what inspired them. Uh, as we heard from Janet today. Um, folks who know that that moment, it's just a sports competition. It shouldn't have this power, but it does. Because I think we as human beings do recognize the power of us more than the power of me. And we look forward to spreading that. My main job as mayor is to, like Anne Hidalgo, is to house people and to move people and to clean up our air and our water. And we have the work of today, and make no mistake, Anne and I had obligation to do this, but 95% of our work is back in our cities doing that work today for our people. But great cities also reach for that 5% of the time for the future, so that whomever we pass the baton on to, whether it's a new generation or other leaders, will know that the ones who came before them believed in what was yet to come, and that's what we celebrate. Brevemente también en español, yo quiero decir, ese es un gran día, me siento increíble. 
Y estas emociones son real para mí. Um, un joven en 84 y la idea de nuestros sueños uh, pueden ser realidades, la realidad. Gracias al liderazgo, a mi uh, alcalde hermana, hermana y alcalde, uh, Ani Hidalgo, y al liderazgo de este comité olímpico, específicamente el presidente Thomas Bach. Y gracias al comité de los, uh, olímpicos uh, en uh, los Estados Unidos. Um, sin este equipo, este sueño no será una realidad. Pero en mi, mi ciudad, por los jóvenes, por sus ideas, eh, ellos pueden tener las vidas uh, con pasión, con una visión. Este es un gran día por Los Ángeles, por uh, también París y para el mundo. Muchísimas gracias. And with that, I'll toss it back to the president. Thank you. Mr. Matt. Uh, or to, to Mark, whatever. <laughs> Uh, so now uh, we take questions. If you could, as usual, wait for the microphone, it would be good. And then we will, um, if you could say who you're from and state your question. So gentlemen down here to start with, and then we'll move to Ed. Back. Rob Livingstone from gamesbids.com. Is uh, now the right time to ask about heads of the uh, organizing committees? Uh, uh, Tony, Casey? Any thoughts, any comments? Well, well I'll say that, that I, I, Casey is gonna stay on his chair uh, as a, of an organizing committee, and I'm excited to have him be in that role. Um, it's uh, a lot of work for no pay, but we are, I, I don't know about the French deal, I'm just talking about the American one. <laughs> but uh, but uh, we're very lucky to have him, and you can comment anymore if you want to. Yes, uh, Tony is the chair today and uh, share tomorrow. <laughs> and we are very happy and proud because it, it's a better, it's a better for the job. <laughs> okay, uh, Ed Hula, down the, from around the rings, just in the front here, yeah. Hi, Ed Hula from around the rings. For the mayors, now that you've been through this process with the IOC, what are your thoughts about it, especially as mayors in other cities around the world are now trying to figure out whether it is practical for their cities to bid for the Winter Olympics or an upcoming Summer Olympics? How has the process gone with the IOC? What would you say to those cities which are considering an Olympic bid? Maybe in Spanish now. Mm. Lo que hemos vivido con esta campaña ha sido algo único porque ha habido mucha inteligencia. Yo creo que las ciudades y, y los equipos han compartido con el Comité Olímpico cuáles eran los desafíos más importantes que teníamos que superar. Y sabemos que había un desafío de confianza en, en las opiniones públicas y, por supuesto, en Europa. Yo creo que el camino que nos ha propuesto el presidente Bach y con todo el apoyo del Comité Olímpico ha sido un camino muy innovador, pero que nos ha permitido también de construir esta confianza con los ciudadanos. Hemos podido mmm, juntos iniciar algo que permite hoy de llegar cada uno, no solo con una victoria, pero con también una reflexión muy intensa y muy fuerte sobre lo que los Juegos Olímpicos pueden traer a cada una de las ciudades. Yo les quiero decir a, a las ciudades que serán un día, lo espero, candidata, es que Es muy difícil una candidatura, pero merece la pena, vale la pena. Porque tras de estos años y estos meses trabajando todos juntos, hemos aprendido mucho. Yo no conocía al mundo olímpico por el interior, lo conocía por fuera, porque me gusta el deporte y me gustan los Juegos Olímpicos. Pero hoy también he visto aquí, en este universo, en esta familia olímpica, 
personas que piensan el deporte realmente, con todo lo bien que puede traer el deporte a nuestras sociedades y al mundo de hoy. Yo creo que merece la pena de ir a este camino respetando reglas, aprendiendo, siendo humilde, pero merece la pena porque uno sale más grande de esta competición. Estoy de verdad muy feliz de haber podido entrar en esta competición con este estado de... Eh, Teddy está haciéndome señales, como siempre, para que me ría, para que me deconcentre. Gracias, Teddy, yo también. <ríe> bueno, no, es algo muy, muy fuerte y muy importante. Yo creo que se ha inventado algo que hoy trae también las soluciones que se necesitan para nuestras ciudades y teniendo claro en cuenta la agenda y también el papel, que es el papel tan importante del Comité Olímpico. So, I'll just add, add to that um, briefly as well. The, our process and our experience has been, I think, superb. That may be easy to say when you win, but let me tell you whether it was win or lose, why. We're told all these myths about what this process was supposed to be. I was told this was going to be a very inflexible IOC, and what we experienced was tremendous flexibility, as, ex as shown today. We were told that this, if we read what's going on, that the process is tainted, and it was clean and clear. We're told that it, should be, that it was going to be demanding, and you had to be super ambitious. And if, instead, it was cooperative and collaborative. And so for me, you know, the advice I would give to cities is don't be scared. I think if they read in the past, I can understand why. Those countries have made tremendous investments in their infrastructure, using the Olympics as the excuse. But cities are becoming more and more realistic. I would just say be yourself, fit the Olympics to your city, don't fit your city to the Olympics. And there isn't a city out there today that probably, we always said we could do the Olympics in a couple months. Almost every city in the world could do the Olympics in a few months as well. The question for the IOC, for the federations, for everybody is how many seats do you want to have? Does every single event need to be of a certain size? It's those demands that have been very difficult on cities in the past. And I think what Paris and Los Angeles can show by you know, 95, 97% uh, of our facilities being existing or temporary in both of our cities is that cities shouldn't be scared. My last piece of advice is don't pretend to do things that have nothing to do with the Olympics and put them on the Olympics budget. Because there's no Olympics in, on the operational side since after Sydney, or maybe including Sydney, that's lost money on the operations. It's always on the infrastructure. And that's where uh, overly ambitious cities and mayors I think have been as responsible as anybody else for making these games have uh, sometimes tough reputation. Yeah, AP, I think it is at the back there, and then we'll come to Eric at the front there. Thank you. Uh, this is for, uh, this is Eddie Pels from AP for Tony and Mayor Hidalgo. I, there was obviously some emotion up there. You knew what was gonna happen today. Were you surprised at your own reaction to what happened? Hmm. Thank you for, for the question. Effectively, I've been uh, personally surprised by the emotions of this moment. I, I couldn't have imagined that uh, it would be like this. Uh, tribute to the, the fantastic job. And yes, this moment was so strong because it's a collective win. Uh, never in the past I had the, this privilege uh, to bring back the games to my country. And uh, I, yeah, I can tell you that uh, it was very strong because uh, at this moment I was thinking to the uh, thousands of uh, athletes who are preparing for this moment uh, who should be very, very excited to, uh, to the win of this country. Uh, I've been an athlete. Uh, I've been also a little bit uh, in difficulty when uh, in the past my country beat it and, and didn't win. And, and this moment, I think we, we came back stronger than ever and, and we achieved something uh, unique. And, uh, and to see all those stakeholders united, uh, working together with the athletes in front line, that was so special for me. So uh, I can tell you that we worked a lot with Anne and with everyone, but today this is uh, the result 
of this uh, job, and it was uh, a very strong emotion on my side. Yes, it, for me too, it's a very strong moment, you know. And maybe when the president say uh, Paris 2024 and LA 2028, um, I see uh, this uh, year, this campaign together, all uh, picture in my mind, and uh, it was very, very strong, very emotive moment. And um, also, we are all united, all together. It's very uh, special for us, because in France and in other country, it's not uh, usually, you know, but we are all together. All our country were in support of Paris 2024, and we win today. We win today together, and for our country, for the young people of our country. It's amazing, it's amazing. It's not just our life, it's more important than the, that. Thank you. Um, can we have Eric Benadou here from AFP, please? Hi, Eric Bernadou, Agence France Presse. May I ask a question in French and, and maybe <laughs> also in English? It's a question for all of you. It's about security. Uh, one of the major issues uh, in 24 and 28 with what happened, ce qui s'est passé à Paris récemment, sera la question de la sécurité, security problems. So can I have your opinion on this, even Mr. Bach? Will security be one of the major issues? Security is uh, always a top uh, priority for any uh, major event, and in particular for uh, the uh, Olympic Games and uh, uh, the, the athletes. Uh, who uh, can tell you now what the security uh, situation will be in, in seven years? Nobody. Uh, and uh, therefore, what is important is uh, that uh, the, the organizing committees uh, and uh, their governments are conscious of, uh, of uh, the, the, the challenge and then uh, address it in uh, their way. But what the particular challenges will be in seven years from now or in 11 years uh, uh, from now, uh, who, uh, who knows? And uh, any other uh, deliberation uh, uh, going further and uh, saying that uh, for uh, uh, security uh, uh, reasons, uh, uh, we, we should not have Olympic Games or we should not have uh, uh, big events uh, anymore. Uh, this uh, would be the victory for, uh, for terrorists. And uh, we are just, and I think there we, we are uh, once more united, that uh, we, are, we are standing. Uh, uh, for uh, uh, our values. Uh, we are standing uh, uh, for uh, the diversity. We are standing for the, the respect. We are standing for uh, uh, the tolerance. And uh, we are not uh, ready to give in uh, to, uh, to terrorism. OK, I think, we've, I think we're going to call it a day. I think we have time for some photos um, with the group up the front here. Would be, uh, oh, oh, sorry, yes, question, one more question in the front. Yeah. Can you put Hello, this is Nozomi from NHK Japan. I'd like to, uh, uh, I'd like to, oops, sorry. I'd like to ask you both uh, mayors that um, in Tokyo case, um, the cost of game is increasing six times bigger than what they promised when they won the bid race. So can you guys, uh, can you, um, as a hosting city, can you really comply with what you promised in your bid plan? Uh, we can in Los Angeles. We have a stadium that is being built no matter what, and it's not part of the Olympics. So even if it goes up in cost, it's not part of our budget. That's part of uh, the professional organization, Los Angeles Rams, um, but who I believe will deliver it on their own budget, but it will never be a part of our budget. Our transportation improvements were already approved by voters. They're going to happen. Whether we won the Olympics or not, they were going to happen. 
So we've kind of tried, and UCLA will be a college campus in 2028 no matter what. And they will need to house their students and they are building the dormitories that will allow us to have a village. So we've really taken the, even if you had cost overruns, it's on such few projects, we have more than enough of a, uh, of a cushion to be able to absorb that. And I would just refer to my earlier statements. Sometimes we get ambitious as cities, and I think that's great. Cities need to have train lines, need to have improved airports, they need to have better transportation. But there's a commingling of that into the Olympic budget that maybe is unfair to the Olympics. The Olympics is the actual games themselves. Um, and cities and uh, provinces and other places can build things that they need, but they should call that what it is, infrastructure improvements for the city. So we feel very secure about um, that. There's, there's almost no insecurity. We have additional insurance, backstops from the city and from the state of California. Um, but when people say, but cost could go over, I always ask them in Los Angeles for what? For a stadium that we don't own? For arenas that are already built and used every day? Um, so we, we feel very secure about our, our budget. And in Paris, we are very confident. We have 95% uh, of uh, all venues uh, today. Uh, and uh, we have uh, transportation, we have uh, all system, the hotels, we have uh, all what we need for the games. And we are very confident in our ability to, uh, to work very uh, well with uh, all the team and uh, to, uh, to give the better celebration in 2024. Okay, thank you very much, Paris. 24 and LA 28, congratulations and we look forward to working with you. Thank you very much indeed.